Hello there, Hydrauliac here to answer your hydraulic questions. Today we will be going over rephasing cylinders. Rephasing cylinders allow multiple cylinders to extend at the same rate and be able to stay synced across the machine. Let's take a look at how. For the case of extending, oil enters the cap end of the cylinder shown here in red. As the cylinder extends, oil is pushed out of the rod end, shown in green. The oil from the rod end travels into the cap end of the next cylinder, shown in green. In order to achieve the same extending rate, the two green portions must have the same volume. The first cylinder will have a larger bore than the second cylinder to account for the volume that the rod takes up. For the case of retracting, oil enters the rod end of the last cylinder, shown in blue. Oil is pushed out of the cap end of the last cylinder into the rod end of the first, shown in green. Again, because the green volumes of each cylinder are the same, the cylinders retract at the same rate. Rephasing cylinders can occasionally become out of sync. They can be rephased or resynced by extending them both all of the way. When the first cylinder is extended all the way, there is a small port that allows oil to travel from the cap end out of the rod end and into the next cylinder. This allows both cylinders to be extended all the way and to be synced back together. There are some important considerations when using rephasing cylinders. If you have a need for cylinders to be synced together and you are often extending them all the way, this is a great application for rephasing cylinders. If they aren't extended all the way frequently, an operator may have to watch carefully and occasionally resync them outside of their normal operation. You also get less force out of rephasing cylinders. If you have two rephasing cylinders loaded equally, the first cylinder can see up to the full system pressure. However, half of that pressure will be used to push the second cylinder instead of the load. So you are really only getting up to half of the system pressure to operate each cylinder. If you have any questions you would like to see answered, leave your questions in the comments and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the answer. As always, thanks for watching.